Greetings free thinkers, welcome to the Hogcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? We have for you a short clip to watch, coverage that broke last night. And it's so absurd, really it is. I'm sure I don't have to explain this to you that every day it seems in society now, in Western society, you reach a point where you see something where the establishment or the left, they do something and you think, I've finally seen it. I've finally seen it all. And then they do something else that just goes lower and lower and lower. Eric Fartwell, Eric Swalwell, is suing Trump, President Trump, former President Trump, for emotional distress. Is that not proof from the horse's mouth or the um, Fartwell's anus that this man, President Trump, lives in the heads of Democrats to the point where they're trying to actually make him responsible for it. They're trying to sue him to make him financially responsible for the fact that they have him in their heads 24 7. This is what happens when people are allowed to fail upwards. It's always someone else's fault. Always. That's something you get with participation trophies, with people who fail upwards, fail upwards, like liberals tend to do. In the public sector, especially, they just fail upwards. And the more they fail, the more they skyrocket. And now you end up with situations like this. So let's get into this clip. But if you haven't yet, Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, just put notifications on all. It should hopefully notify you when I upload and share this around to social media. There's share buttons down there that can just paste it to your social media. I need that now more than ever because this channel has been sectioned off, shadow banned, demonetized like a lot of other independent commentary channels because they don't want you talking about ordinary things. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's get into this. Happening. Anyway, Swalwell can't get enough of President Trump. Just can't get enough. That's right. California Congressman Eric Swalwell is suing President Trump in an attempt to hold him financially responsible for the January 6th riot. Now, Swalwell accusing the president of terrorizing lawmakers and causing him emotional distress. The civil suit also named... Sorry to interrupt so quickly, but... The Democrat politicians are the people who actually tweeted out and retweeted the bail funds, the GoFundMe funds for the Antifa and BLM rioters who rioted across the United States, Los Angeles, Kenosha, Minneapolis, and the entirety of downtown Minneapolis was looted and burnt out. The same for Kenosha. We had riots in Los Angeles, Seattle, Portland. They're still going on in Seattle and Portland. And the bail funds for those who didn't get their charges dropped, which most of them did, by DAs who share the far-left uh, ideology, they shared the bail funds. So... What about all those people who lost their livelihoods, were burnt out of their homes, their family businesses, because of the actions of the likes of Kamala Harris and Eric Fartwell? Maybe there should be a class action lawsuit against Fartwell. The president's son, Donald Trump Jr., Rudy Giuliani, and Congressman Mo Brooks, all who spoke at the January 6th rally. A Trump senior advisor, Jason Miller, ripping it. So speaking at a rally means that you can be um, sued. That's the future the Democrats want. But only for you, not for them. To Swalwell in a statement to Fox News, calling him a lowlife with no credibility who got caught dating a Chinese spy. So them definitely fighting words. Yeah, Carly, what's... They're truthful words, right? This is a man who is still on, I believe, intelligence committees who was for a long time sleeping with a actual Chinese spy. This isn't, oh, my Russia, my Russia, my Russia or anything like that, all of the ridiculous stuff the Democrats do when they say, look over there, look at Russia, don't look at China, look at Russia, it's smoke and mirrors. This ain't that. 
the lady in question, I can't remember her name, is a bona fide Chinese spy. And if Chinese spies were parasites, saying they were head lice, right? The Democrat Party is covered in lice. Have you seen all these photos? And there'll be Chinese aides here. Chinese, an aide attached to this Democrat politician, an aide attached to them there. They're all over the place. Only on one side of the aisle. And you have to ask, who's the real threat here? Russia? Or China? What's the latest on that of him going around with a spy? We still haven't gotten any briefing on that or anything. Yeah, and I think that this lawsuit is definitely... See this photo of Eric Swalwell? He's wearing that mask so he doesn't have to smell in his own farts because... You know, he almost took off when he fired last time. I mean, literally, you saw him kind of get a bit of lift. He kind of propelled himself upwards a bit. A long shot, considering you can always make that free speech claim. It seems like this is more about Eric Swalwell getting some points in the media and getting... Well, you can't always make the free speech claim. We can and have been able to for a long time, but that's coming to a close. The age of free speech is coming to a close. Because the people who have nefarious um, objectives that they want to instill in the lives of you and me, they require a society where free speech is non-existent, right? Free speech cannot be allowed when the plans of evil people are in motion, right? Free speech can only flourish when honourable people are in charge, right? when people who want to give to the country are in charge instead of a group of people who want to take out of the country for their own benefit like the Washington elite and that's not just Democrats it is mostly of course but I'm on about the old rhino legacy Republicans who are just blue what we call blue liberals they're, they're essentially the same as the liberal elite but they just wear the badge of the opposing team. Media attention and Twitter attention than it being really anything very serious. Carla, you know what I think it is? They just can't get enough of Donald Trump. Oh, no, no. They it, want, yeah, they, they want to they they relive, relive those glory days of, of 2016 to 2020. They, they, they need content. And if you're in the media or if you're even a politician, it was so much free material. Yep. He's, the Trump model is the business model. Let's just be honest about it. You're right. You're right when it comes to uh, the mainstream media, like the ridiculous CNN and Brian Stelter. I mean, come on. You can't help but think of the Mark Dice voice when you see Brian Stelter, the most effeminate of men, okay? But when it comes to Eric Swalwell, when it comes to ratings, the Swalwells of the world and the Pelosi's and the Chuck Schumer's and the Adam Schiff's, they have no skin in that game. They don't care about ratings. They care about votes. But ratings, no. This is something else. This is a psychological phenomenon. It has a name. It's called Trump Derangement Syndrome. And it still exists. There are people who are withdrawing from, have withdrawal symptoms. They're jonesing on Trump. They need him right they need to hate him they've for four years they geared their lives around hating donald trump and his supporters and everything and this is eric swalwell in my opinion farting all over the place um trying to get a fix a trump fix which is what i believe he needs this is as i said i'll end now because the clip's pretty much ended but I, i'm sorry if this has been a short video but i just wanted to show you this to show you the lengths that they will sink to and i will end with how can a man do this right for those of my male viewers could you ever do that could you ever pimp yourself out like that and you're so because eric swell was supposed to be a leader right so he's saying that he's so emotionally distressed by the existence of donald trump that he is going to sue Donald Trump for emotional distress and try to get some of Trump's hard-earned money 
just because Trump spoke at a rally, right? How pathetic does that make you look as a man and as a so-called leader, which all elected representatives are supposed to be? They're supposed to be leaders for their little area of the country, their little congregation. I couldn't do that, right? I've been homeless before, okay? Homeless, street homeless, twice, once as a teenager. And I couldn't... When I say pimp myself out, I don't mean like on sexually, but I mean like financially I couldn't do that. I couldn't ask, say, you give me money. I couldn't do that. I couldn't say, well, you've got to give me money because you've got loads of it. I could never do that, never. Eric Swalwell has money has power, has privilege, has position, and he is still pimping himself out. What kind of a man is this fart bag? Well, I'm going to leave it there. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the notification bell, and share the video around. If you haven't yet, that would really help this channel grow. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.